So the goal of this short video is just to give you a sense of how to uh, implement binomial regression in R and just the basics. I'll make a longer video that will, you know, go through some, some more of the concepts that we've learned. So let's take a look at this data set which records whether uh, an office is occupied or not and uh, several other features that can be measured and the goal here is to try to use this data to develop a model that can predict whether an office is occupied or not. And so you can uh, load the data uh, using the code here and just a little note about this code so I'm using this R curl library and this is uh, provides this function get URL which allows you to um, you know pull in data in more complicated ways than some of the functions that we've looked at before and so this data comes from a github repository so I load the data in look at a few summaries and the first thing that I do which I I mentioned in an earlier video is just to fit a normal linear regression model and show that it doesn't fit very well so here I fit that normal model using the LM function and take a plot of the residuals against fitted values and we see that this does not look like what it should look like All right so the goal here is then to use binomial regression so to do that uh, you should use the GLM function rather than the LM function and there are similarities so the formula that you put in will be the same uh, at least for um, for response data that's Bernoulli and so you'll have response tilde predictor 1 predictor 2 and then if you have more keep adding them on um, and for the binomial response uh, you can if you have a response that's not Bernoulli but that you know n is larger than uh, 1 then you would need to specify uh, the number of successes and the number of failures. That's one way to do it. So you can give the response actually as a matrix with two columns. But here it's easy enough because occupancy is just zeros and ones. And so you don't need to know successes and failures because it's, it's uh, Bernoulli. So here's the GLM function. And notice that that first argument is the same. So response tilde predictors, specify the data set. And the only difference here is that now we have to specify the family. So the family means what is the distribution of the response. So here it's binomial and we'll take a look soon at Poisson regression uh, where the response is a count that's you know unbounded uh, from above and in that case we would put Poisson there. So the output is here. Some of these things should look familiar and some will look will look uh, unfamiliar. So um, the main thing that I want us to look at right now are these estimates. So in the last video uh, where we looked at the interpretation of the binomial regression model we got a sense of how to interpret these coefficients and I want you to practice doing that. Um, and notice that the values that are given here, so for example this one here, is the value before exponentiation. So this is just the value of the beta that shows up in the linear predictor. So you can use this to help you interpret something about the log odds, but if you wanted to interpret something about the odds of success, then you would need to exponentiate that. So in your Unit 6 code, I walk you through some exercises where I ask you to verify the interpretation of the coefficient. And just remember that these values that are here, uh, if you want to say something about odds, you need to exponentiate. All right, so we'll take a look at a, a longer video where we analyze this data, but I just wanted to give you a head start in case you wanted to start on the Unit 6 code, which I, I hope you, you work on.